All right, hey, well, hello. We are gonna be going out and trying some more of FSD 10.69.1.1. Uh, Again, fresh off the presses. I just got it last night. Uh, I did a video, quick video for all of you who are interested on a run to Harold's Market just to get my first impressions. And now I'm gonna make this video on uh, taking it through town and challenging it to make some turns and some roundabouts. So won't you join me as we try FSD uh, version beta version 10.69.1.1. All right. All right, hey, well you join me on Highway 20 Spur. This is what you would take if you wanted to head out to Woodby Island. I am not heading to Woodby Island, I am heading back home. And our first challenge here is to see how the car handles back-to-back uh, -back roundabouts. So as we approach up here, we are going to go through our first of two roundabouts. The second roundabout is actually on uh, Interstate, or not Interstate, I keep saying Interstate, State Route 20, uh, so it's a high-speed roundabout. Uh, this one is too as well, but not quite a side of the speed. So let's see how the car does. We've got a fair amount of traffic, and as you can see, I following through and since there was no traffic huh that was strange it did so well and then it uh, there at the last minute wanted to, wanted to keep going maybe it was trying to do a u-turn that could be sometimes uh route the car wants to take is more efficient than the route I want to use to test FSD. <laughs> okay, so we're rolling down here, and this is where the main SR20 is, so this spur joins it, and this will take us into Anacortis. So we're going to go through a roundabout here. Again, we've got somebody on our butt, and we're pinching our brakes. So far, so good. The car's driving nice gentleman backed off once we pitched our brakes, so that's good. Okay, here we come into our roundabout. And the car is selecting the correct lane. Good job, car. I won't lie, this makes me a little nervous. <laughs> but so far, so good. Uh, the car's looking, and it's liking what it sees, and it went, went through. Excellent job. Very nicely done. Continuing to slowly roll through here. A little bit herky-jerky, but so far so good. And we're gonna make it go into this lane because it was gonna try and force us to do a U-turn. All right, so very good. We are successfully merging onto 20. So we've had two interventions with the roundabouts, but the interventions weren't because the car wasn't capable of making uh, the roundabout it was because the car was trying to take us on a navigation route that it liked better. All right, so now we're stuck behind a slow trailer. We're gonna get over here into our, oh, no, we'll cancel that. All right. Nice acceleration. I had the car in uh, chill mode yesterday when I was doing my original uh, Harold's Market run, and I wanted to know if that made a difference in how it behaved. So now it's in uh, sport, acceleration, sport handling. And uh, always trying to bring better camera angles to uh, my peeps here, my subscribers. So I went out and fabricated something up today with some uh, uh, extra flooring that I had left laying around. I needed some nice flat, hard surfaces to mount my suction cups to to get the camera in a good spot. So divered up a little tripod type thing and hopefully maybe you like this camera angle a little better. Certainly don't like how fast these people are going. I guess nobody told this person the left lane is for passing, not for camping. We're almost into town. Alright, we're going to try uh, and come up through here. 
and make another roundabout attempt. And I will likely have to intervene here too because the car is going to want to take me on the back roads and I'm going to want it to take us through town. So we're going to go see how it does. So far, so good. Uh, both interventions, as I've stated, were due to... Um, were due to the car wanting to navigate a different direction that I wanted to go. So I just had to take over to force it to go the direction I wanted to go. Tesla up in front of us. All right, so far so good. Let's see if we make this light. For the sake of the video, I hope we do. Otherwise, okay. No, we didn't make it. Car stopping nice though. Very good braking. And I'm going to go ahead and stop here and I will start again once we get through the light. All right, here we are picking up where we left off. Coming through the light. You can see on the navigation, the car does want to go through the roundabout and take us a different route. So I'll let it start our nav through here and then I'll intervene and we'll go down. Great job, great job. And creeping through, doesn't see any other traffic. It'll pull through very naturally. Like I said, I'm gonna intervene right here just to force it to go a different way. And now we'll let it take back over. And it should. Yeah, now it's gonna want me to, yeah, all right. Sorry folks, bear with me. I'm gonna come up to the stoplight. Once we get through the stoplight, I'll start the video again. Uh, the car wants to take it. Oh, here we go, perfect. Now we're in. Um, I want to make sure we take the uh, left-hand turn onto 12th Street. That's the turn I typically take every day on my commute, so I want to test the car on it. Hopefully the jiggling isn't too bad. Appreciate the, all of the new subscribers, and I hope you... Uh, Will comment and like and let me know what I can do to make things better or what you'd like to see me test. Um, very, very much open to comments on uh, different tests. Uh, and uh, apologize if these videos are a little bit boring. <laughs> Beautiful day here in Anacortes. Wonderful day. Uh, and I am just having a great time playing with my new beta build. Uh, I've had some tur talk, uh, the, the cost of this right has gone up again now, so um, it was uh, $12,000, which I paid, uh, I know that's a lot, but uh, I financed it, I rolled it into the little bit that I financed the car, in fact that was mostly what I had to finance, um, and that's, And people might say, oh that's crazy, why would you pay that much, and it is kind of crazy, and I think I've explained it before, um, number one, I just like being part of this uh, technology and testing it and saying that I had a hand in something that I think is going to just revolutionize humanity. Uh, so that's one reason. And the second reason is um, humans are just not good at thinking exponentially. You, we think linearly. We, we, we in a linear pattern, just gentle up or gentle down. And this is an exponential technology using exponential AI software. And I just believe that once they get it, they'll have it. And then, geez, there'll be no touching these things. They'll be worth a fortune. So that's the other reason. is I, I'm gambling on this being a um, great, great investment. And I don't plan on getting rid of Amos. I might eat my words later, and you'll catch me on video if I do. But uh, having a fully autonomous car, I think at that price, is a bargain. And we've got our reservation in for our Cybertruck. So I'll be bringing you lots of cool... Uh, material on that when we get it. Well, it will be a few more years yet, but we've also got FSD on that. And hopefully we locked that in for $8,000 because I put my reservation in, oh, about two years ago. All right, so we're approaching this left-hand turn that gives me, uh, or not me, it gives Amos a lot of problems. So let's see how he does before. Now, why is he doing that? Okay, so now we're getting into this lane. And, yep. Yeah. Well, 
I'm going to intervene. And that was that. Amos did did horrible there. Really, really horrible. <laughs> and as such, now I'm an asshole taking up two lanes of traffic. Um, but again, we're testing. I want to see how it performs and um, uh, where it screws up. And as long as it doesn't put us in jeopardy or do anything dangerous, well, I'm just going to let it uh, roll. So anyway, uh, we're going to leave the camera on because there is a beautiful black uh, Kia EV6 up here, and it is going to roll right on by us, I do believe. So, oh, nope, going to Safeway. Hopefully we've got a glimpse of it. So we'll go through this light, and then uh, I'm not going to subject you to the... Uh, driving on 12th Street, but when we approach the other left-hand turn I have to take, I will be sure to include you in that. Hey, welcome back. I uh, just cut out the little strip of uh, 12th Street or Oaks that's not too interesting, but I thought you might appreciate this part of the drive. So again, we are in full self-driving beta 69.1.1 pretty flowers. I should stop and get in the coal some. And the car is driving us home. So we have been having a good drive. Um, the only interventions that I had to do was that last one turning on to 12th Street or Oaks, uh, where the car uh, saw two lanes. It did all the right signaling, got over because uh, it thought it was going to get around traffic faster, not realizing it had to make a turn in 300 feet. Um, and I let it go through with that. I wanted to see what it would do. So uh, that turn, still no bueno. Elon, we're, we're going to keep working on it. I know you're not doing it. <laughs> it's your FSD team, and they are awesome. They really are. I can't say how much, uh, how impressed I am. Beautiful shot of the ferry there. Uh, beautiful shot of the channel, too. I know they're working hard, um, and I really appreciate all of the efforts being put into it. Uh, and this is... To help it get better, right? That's why we make these videos and to satisfy people's curiosity. So again, uh, this would be a good test here. We've got two bicyclists on our right. Let's see how Amos handles it. You can see them popping up and the ego goes around them slightly. Very nicely done. So we're approaching the next left-hand turn the car needs to make that it never seems to get quite right. And this is going to be onto Anna Copper. So we will see how it does. I am uh, not terribly optimistic, but I hope to be surprised. All right, let's see how we do here. Doesn't look like we got much oncoming traffic. So that might be a bonus for us. And nobody else utilizing the turn. So we should be signaling now. And okay, that was nice. There's our blinker, a little late on the blinker. And I'd say that was pretty damn good. <laughs> uh, we'll have to test that um, maybe in the evening and when there's some different traffic situations, but um, that was pretty damn good for, uh, for what it has been doing. So we'll speed up just a little bit through here. Uh, if you'll recall, again, there is another roundabout and some funky kind of little corners by a park uh, that the car also kind of struggled with in the past. So we're going to find out how it does there as well. And then we may get some nice views out the windshield of the Olympics and the water as we head on down to finish this video out. Um, so anyway, yeah, very, very much... Uh, a, a big proponent of EVs. Um, my savings in gasoline every month literally pays my car payment. So it's a wash. So uh, very, very much uh, it, great there. No maintenance. Okay, let's see how she does. I don't want to curb any tires. Ooh, very nice. Wow, that was smooth. Uh, inappropriate blinkers, but that's okay. Still very nice speed through here. Being as it's a park, we don't want to go too aggressive. And we've got landscaping right here to our right, and the car sees that and misses it. Very good. And now we've got this funky roundabout with a low medium. So the car's never quite sure to go straight or to go around it. And went around it. Very nice. Oh boy, this is a nice, nice improvement. See how it does through these corners here? 
Oh, yeah. Okay, very good. We're going to rock our speed down just a little bit because we don't need to go too quick. Oh, this is very, very smooth. Okay. And again, I, I am hands on the wheel, but I am not driving. This is the car. Now we have gone into no lines. So the car is just transitioned onto a road with um, traffic coming in both directions and no dividing line, no fog line. And so far, so good. Let's see how it does with this corner. Again, we turned our speed down, We're residential. We wanna be safe. Oh, nice. Biggest concern I had there was the garbage cans. Okay, still no lines. The car is managing this all on its own, uh, driving through a um, residential housing development that I live in. Oh, this car here is going a little fast. Wow, very nicely done. Very, wow. That was almost as good as I could have done. And here we, here we are now, we're just cruising on the final stretch to home. So uh, what's our tally here? One major intervention for the left-hand turn onto Oaks Avenue or 12th. Um, the car got silly and screwed up. Uh, the other interventions were because of the navigation wanting to take me a di different way than I wanted to go. But the car handled roundabouts on two high-speed um, uh, routes very, very well. And then we transitioned in. We did our left-hand turn off of Oaks on Anna Copper, which it did wonderfully. And it's handling this last bit just such, so, so nicely. And look at this beautiful view, folks. I'm going to give you a kick up there. And as we cruise back in, I hope you enjoy these beautiful, beautiful views of the water and us wrapping up this test. So, hey, thank you very much for joining me. And we'll bring you some more of these as we test FSD 69.1.1.